Matthew here from MiniWarGaming.com bringing you the results of our battle report contest that we have been holding for the past few weeks. It ended about a week ago last Monday at midnight and we had two categories, article battle reports and video battle reports. So we're going to announce the winners of both. The winner of each of those categories gets $100 spending money to the online Mini Wargaming store as well as a lifetime gold membership to the Mini Wargaming vault. That's worth at least, well if it's $20 a month times 12, that's $240 a year. Even if it's just five years, it's worth over $1,200. So the runner-ups also get a lifetime silver membership. So that's the one that's $10 a month instead of 20. We're gonna start with the article battle reports to see who is the winner. First off, the runner-ups. Our first runner-up is Lexane's Cough for his Grey Knights vs. Chaos Space Marines battle report. A lot of good pictures, really good written out battle report as well. The other runner-up is Necrometzer for his Orcs and Goblins vs. Vampire Counts. Once again, it was good pictures and a good battle report overall. Article battle reports can be interesting because that's what you see in the White Dwarf or in other magazines as well. But they can be a lot of work and they're hard to make good because you don't get the, the live action that you get in videos. And now for the winner of the article battle report contest category it is Super Kev for his Burn the Witch battle report. Now the reason we chose this one is because he had great pictures, it was a great written battle report, and on top of that he actually had a story written beforehand, a bit of fluff, to kind of introduce why the battle even happened. So our runner-ups, you both get lifetime vault memberships, lifetime silver vault memberships, and our grand prize winner gets $100 in points, as well as a lifetime gold vault membership. Moving on to the video battle report category. This was a little tougher because there was a lot more submissions into this category. And so we had to look through a lot of battle reports. We found quite a few that we liked, but in the end, there can only be one winner and two runner-ups. Let's start with the runner-ups. Runner-up number one is Jared Ryan for his War Machine battle report, Crix vs. Mercs. We love this one because it had like a Nintendo feel to it. And it was very quick, very entertaining. It was well edited and it was a very, very good battle report. So congratulations, you get a lifetime Silver Vault membership. The other runner-up is Inquisitor Steve for Operation Over the Top. This one, it was a lot of production. They actually had a camera over the top showing the whole playing field and they had numbers and they showed arrows where everything was going. And then beside that, they had each of the people talking about what was going on. And then they even showed other camera angles of what was going on. So it was quite complex. So it was a very good battle report and uh, that's why it deserves the runner-up prize of a lifetime silver membership. And finally, the winner of the video category of the Battle Report Contest is Black Hat Zero, uh, or Black Hat, for his Orcs vs. Space Marines Battle Report. This one was ultimately chosen as the winner because it was well edited and it was humorous and very entertaining. The models were all painted, not that the other ones were, and the other two Battle Reports weren't, but it just had all of the right things coming together and it just felt the most entertaining out of all the battle reports that we watched. So great job, Black Hat. And uh, especially considering that, I'm assuming English isn't your first language because I think you're from Sweden. So I'm sorry if it is and I just offended you. But you get $100 in spending money to the online mini wargaming store as well as a lifetime gold vault membership valued at over $1,000. Now before we finish, we need to have one honorable mention. And this is for Roll to Win. And that's actually the name of his battle report as well, as a Roll to Win battle report. And the reason we're mentioning this one is not a winner or a runner-up, but he had a really cool idea. And that is he's doing these video battle reports, but he still used markers. Like he had these cut out arrows and cut out markers that showed what died. And so when something moves, you stick the arrow behind it to show where it moves. And so if you're doing a recap style battle report, one where you just show what's, what's happened, you don't show the action, because they're, they're very fast to edit if you just do recap ones. Then if you use this idea, you can actually remember what everything moved and it allows you to kind of look at the board and visualize what has happened. So that was a great idea, Roll to Win. Wanted to give you an honorable mention here. Thank you to everybody who entered the Battle Report contest. We'll definitely have more contests in the future. Leave a comment below of what you want the next contest to be all about. Congratulations to all the winners and happy wargaming.